Go today and get your very own Maybe I'm Amazed merchandise. Get it in the shop at MaybeI'mAmazedTribute.com. Hey everybody, CPO and Corey Clark from Maybe I'm Amazed. Back with another record album. Record no, album. Another song, another track. Oh, this is just a song, not a record from album. From the album. We're doing, we're actually, uh, I didn't say this in the last video, but we're doing the 13... 13 track version of this album. The, the original thing was 11, I guess. Then there's a 13 version. Yeah. And then there's some international CD edition. We're going to do the 13, 13 track edition. Um, so today we're going to be listening to 20 Flight Rock. Do you know the song? No. Do I? I don't know the title. You don't know the title? No, should I? Yeah. I feel uh, like you should. Maybe I'll learn if I hear it. This is a... Uh, I, I'm, I want to say this is a 50s song. This is a song from the 50s. Okay. okay. But it might be it might be early 60s. I'm pretty sure this was this was a an old Beatles like early early days of the Beatles cover. Um okay. Although I've never I've never covered it, so I don't I don't know. I just got to get a shot of that. World's okayest guitar player. <laughs> this is Corey Clark, the world's okayest guitar player. The okayest. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're listening to songs from the Russian album by Paul McCartney. This is from 1988. Uh, actually yeah. came out in the U.S. in 19, 1991. Exclusively in the USSR. That's right. So That's right. I'm, I, want, I would love to know why. That's maybe right. Maybe somebody had a lot of money and they wanted an exclusive record in their country. And maybe it was an economic thing. Also, I, I forgot to ask last video, is if somebody can phonetically tell us how to say the title of the album, that would be great. Yeah. Okay, so today, 20 Flight Rock, let's check it out, Corey. Woo! Ooh, well, I got the gal with a record machine when it comes to rocking. She's a queen, go to a dance on a Saturday night. All alone, rock and hold her tight. She lives on the 20th floor of town. The elevator's broken down, so I won't. Straight over the rail But I won't go to right, three, right, four Five, six, seven, right, eight, right, four I'm on the twelve, I'm starting to say Fifteen before I'm ready to pray I get to the top and I'm too tired to roll Oh, 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 oh Yeah, push it up, push it up Tired to rock, dude. <laughs> Once he gets up there, he's too tired. 
All right, okay, 20 flat rock. Okay, I forgot I forgot a key element of the background in this song, especially okay. when it comes to Paul McCartney. Okay. So this is the song that when M McCartney was 15 years old, yeah. met Lennon, and Lennon asked him, like, oh, can you play? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he's like, oh, check this out. And he did it. It's Eddie Cochran. Yeah. And he was, you know, he played... 15 flight rock. So that's their 20, first 20 flight rock. That was their first jam. So that was sure. their first jam, yeah. Cool, that's cool. Yeah. So that's there's, you know, that's a very significant piece of history yeah, on this yeah, song. That's a big deal. As it relates to Paul McCartney. So uh again, sounds sounds great. It's kind of this the same type of uh sonic vibe going on. Yeah. But but the slap the heavy slapback fifties, you're yeah. right, like it's very fifties. Yeah. Who did this? Is this Eddie Cochran. Oh, Eddie Cochran yeah. did it. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So this is uh that's a song about um, going up to the top of a building on the 25th floor, and by the time you get there, you're too tired to have sex. Yeah. That's what it's about, right? You think? I think so. Okay. Rock and roll, right? Isn't that what rock and roll meant back sure. in the day? Too, yeah. If you're too tired to rock, he's not going up there to jam. Yeah. He's going up there to jam. You know what I'm saying? Oh, jam something okay. else. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't know. Cut that one out. Yeah. Cut that's, that out of that's the video. censored, Corey. Hey, I, that's what the song's about. I didn't. I'm not <laughs> saying anything that isn't already there. It's just... I'm just highlighting yeah. some things. That's all. Yeah. So what? What about I was? So I was looking at you during the guitar solo because I was like, "Yeah, is that guitar solo yeah, like, like super low?" Up. It was, but you know what? It also it stays there the whole time. It yeah. sounds live. It sounds like yeah. you can. I mean, it is live, but it it really sounds live. It's one guitar sound the yeah. entire song, and then the solo comes. He just starts ripping. Yeah. And then nothing changes. You know. Yeah. So I kind of like that. It feels more live. It doesn't yeah. feel like it's all okay. doctored up. But but yeah, I would have. Push the but I was, up a was like, bit. come on, just that one little part. I mean, that because yeah. that is live. Your your front of house guy is yeah. gonna push up yeah. the guitar solo. So, not not in the not in the USSR, dude. That's not. How I guess do not. That's not. not how they don't like it like that. <laughs> they like the guitar solo to sit where it's supposed to sit. The the one thing though, whenever when it came out of the guitar solo, and then you know it was like the difference between that and the and the McCartney's voice was vocal, just yeah. like I was like, whoa, yeah. So right. much louder, but whatever. Right. It's McCartney's voice. Right. I mean, nobody's oh. going to complain about that. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Cool. More blues. So yeah, this this is uh, we're this is a blues album, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. So far. Um. So tomorrow we're going to listen to "Loudy Miss Cloudy" by Lloyd Price, or written by Lloyd Price. I I don't familiar. know that I've ever heard this song. Loudy I don't know Cloudy. either, but it sounds familiar. Sounds sounds fun though. All right, so yeah. we're going to listen to that Allow tomorrow, it. so make sure you guys come back. Uh, what, what else should we talk about? You know, we just we just did the Back to the Egg uh, album with Lawrence Schubert, yeah. and that was pretty awesome. And uh, two days of shows. What did, what did you think, so Corey? Beautiful. I was, I think I have a unique perspective yeah. and everyone in the band, because I you was really standing did. right next to the right? band, yeah. <laughs> I was, which I was stoked on. Yeah. I was hoping that I was going to be in a... It was either that or he's going to be on the other side of the stage with Scott. And yeah. they'd, they'd have their phone over there. And I'd, I would have been like looking over the whole time. <laughs> I want to be over there. Yeah, but his amp was right next to my amp. And I just got to stay out of his way and just kind of play behind him. But then there's a couple moments in some of the songs where there's some harmonized guitar parts. Yeah. And so I, I made sure I learned all those parts so when they came up, I could kind of lean into it. But, but honestly, the biggest memory for me about, that, about both of those shows was like, and the rehearsal, was like how fun he is and playful he is with music, mm. you know? We'd get into a section or whatever and he would kind of like get a smile on his face and look over at me and kind of like, you know, like he's, yeah. and he's from that, maybe that old school where it's like people played together yeah. on stage. They would like look at each other and like make a, and so that happened a few times, more than a few times where he'd like smile and look over at me and I'd be like, oh, we're chatting. I'd go into his, you know, <laughs> lean into him and kind of, so, and we got a lot of cool pictures with that too. And, yeah. and that was like, that happened throughout the whole show. So yeah. it was incredible. So hearing him do his thing and like, Getting to be like behind him, just supporting him, and being right next to him was yeah. was so fun. Dude. Yeah, it was it, was, so it was a treat. It was definitely cool. Um, if, if you guys want to see some of the video and the the uh, the photography, uh, go to our go to our Instagram page. It's uh, maybe I'm amazed band or at maybe I'm amazed band, and you can see some of that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna continue to to be posting stuff. There's so much we we got so much material through you know yeah. whether it was video or or photos so um we're just kind of slowly going through that as we have time which is very minimal these days um 
yeah, but it was it was pretty awesome. It was pretty amazing. Uh, such a such an honor to play with that guy, man. Yeah, it was great. And everybody that came out to the show that that knew what they were seeing, yeah, was so stoked. They were just yeah. like, oh my god. We were, we were like, we have a wing with us. Yeah, there's a wing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that that's kind of one of the things that really struck me was you know I got so many comments at the Music Box show yeah. about people being so excited and stoked that we were doing Back to the A, mm -hmm. which which really meant a lot to me because I love that I love that album yeah. so much. I love it now too. And yeah. there was there was people that were like, I can't believe you guys did Back to the A, and we had people coming from like out of town. They they drove down to the show and um, had a, a couple of people that, that flew in from out of state. I was like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So, um, so yeah, we might, we might do more of that in the future, but uh, we'll, that's, that's yet to be, to, we don't, we don't know yet. We'll see. It's gonna happen. We'll see what happens. Uh, but stick around for that. Um, tomorrow we are listening to, what did we say? We said, Loudy Miss Cloudy. Loudy Miss Cloudy. So let's get back to this Russian album. And uh, Russian American blues, That's yes, Russian American blues, <laughs> a little confusing, <laughs> it is. Uh, so we're gonna get to that by an Englishman, right? American, yeah, okay, that's it, you know, it makes sense. It's world I, music, I think it works, <laughs> I think it works. So, Loudy Miss Cloudy yeah. tomorrow, come back for that. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you know when we're coming out with the next video. And just like yesterday and every day and always, yesterday. everybody, peace and love.